TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network. 10 a.m. market update. This is the 26th of April, Tuesday. And what we're looking at is after yesterday's absolutely fabulous upturn. Uh, we're having uh, some kind of a digestive phase here with the Dow down 270 uh, points. Uh, this is really important because this particular, I'll talk about it in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour. As I said to subscribers to my opening call, if this is the third Chapman Wave green Roman candle, we'll have to talk about that when I get back. And, and what it needs is really the 34,130 area within the next few days without taking out uh, the 33,500 support. All right, we're looking at S&P. S&P right now is trading at, uh, let's see, 42.50. It's down 45 points. Nice candle yesterday. Um, I don't mind this action today, but it says that within minimum, sorry, maximum, two to three bars after this candle, you have to see a price above the high of the previous day or previous session, and that would be a high over 42.99.02. Well, that's going to be really tough to do. Uh, otherwise, you're talking about the halfway point of this uh, long-legged Roman candle right here, and that says 42.35 absolutely must hold this week. Otherwise, there's a real problem. QQQ. Uh, made a lower low today. It's down 7 at 322.50. This is not good action at all. You need some leadership. The Dow itself can't do it by itself. Uh, you need you need the, the soldiers to be following the generals and not doing that right now. So uh, at 322, 318, 317, that key support on the left side is absolutely imperative to hold. IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, trading down 2.5 at 191.32. Um, also, not a great candle, still making that big arch formation. Gold is going to be very interesting here because it's up $10 at 1905. Had a big move to the downside, testing that left side low of March. We'll see what happens. I, my target has been the 1866 uh, uh, 200 period exponential moving average. Crude oil also having a little bit. <clears throat> of a bounce to that for $1.50 at 100.07, holding in a, in, a, in a, a kind of a rectangle formation. Hey, TLT making a leg B for the first time in the daily chart, up a dollar at 1.221. It's 24 to 1.25 to say that I've got spent. I'll be back in a moment for the 